Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today we are going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. First of all, I wanted to share a uh, Etsy uh, purchase with you guys. This I bought some more papers from my friend Jovi. Hey Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. Um, as I've told you guys in the past, I absolutely love, love, love her dyed papers. Um, I don't seem to have the patience uh, to do dyed papers, so I would just assume buy them. And what better person than getting them from Jovi because her dyeing is absolutely amazing in my opinion. So you guys need to go over there and check out Jovi at Creating with Jovi uh, on YouTube as well as Etsy. So I took it out of the original package because that had the address on it. These two were inside. And as you guys can see, I have not even opened these yet. So we will... Lord Jesus, Lori can't cut. We will get right into these, so we'll go ahead and open them both. That way we can tear right into them. I'm so excited. Okay, so we got that done. So let's see what is in the first one. I bought several different um, packs. Uh, Lori, let me know what you think of the coffee and silver Oh my gosh. Well, Jovi, I am in love already. Guys, can y'all see that? I don't think this camera is doing this justice as it never does. It's got some shimmer in it here. Can you guys see this? So to you guys, it looks like a white spot, I think. But it is shimmering silver. Oh, Jovi, I love it. This is amazing. Guys, look at that. Oh, man. I wish I had a better camera set up that could show this better. See see that guy's right here? Wow. Amazing. Love it, Jovi. There you go. Oh, look. Is this another one? Holy moly. How, can you guys see that? I know y'all can see that. Look. Oh, wow. Oh, Jovi, I love it. Look, guys. Oh, there's another one. This has got kind of a hint of yellow. Wow, okay, and then some of these. Wow, I absolutely love her papers, guys. I mean, just look at this. I'm in love. These are so, so pretty in journals, guys. And I know a lot of people do it themselves, but again, I just, you know, don't seem to have the patience this has a yellow tint to it really pretty and again i know my light is not doing it justice this is the light pink wow i love these these are so amazing wow guys yep I love pink. Yay, yay. These little subtle hints of pink is so, so pretty in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Jovi, I do have a question. Where you had a sticky note. Are all of these the silver? I'm not sure, guys. But these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm going to get these back in here. Snug as a bug. And we will jot those down there. And we will get the second pack. Okay, let's see what we have in here. We have a note. in that cute sticker? Oh, oh man, Jovi, I love these cards. Yay, thank you so much. Guys, look at her card. Isn't that pretty? Creating with Jovi. So if you guys don't know, the flamingo is kind of uh, Jovi's uh, signature there. 
absolutely love it. And you're very welcome, Jovi. I mean, I thank you for dyeing such beautiful papers. Uh, yep. These are amazing. Let's put my card up there. Guys, look at this. Yumminess. To me, they're somewhat grungy yet delicate all at the same time. I am in love. Wow. I mean, it's not like I was out, guys. I still have a big pack, but y'all know I have problems. Hoarding problems, that is. I love these. I love, love, love. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Now this, guys. Oh, I love it. Look. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, this makes my heart happy, Jovi. Oh, uh, I'm going to need some more of these. This little stack is not going to be enough. Because every time I use a piece, I'm going to have heart palpitations because I used a piece. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. Man. Wow, Jovi is all I can say. Just wow. Guys, look at these. Let's see, can I move that and get a little bit more light in here? Y'all, I have a hot mess on my desk. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think this is my favorite one. Oh, no. Guys, look. Wow. Okay, I got to set this piece aside because I will be hoarding that one. And this one. Oh, my goodness. Look at there. These are amazing, Jovi. Wow, look at that, guys. You see that? Okay, yeah, that one goes over here, too. Oh, and this one. Look, look, look. Wow, okay. Okay, well, yeah, and this one, too. These are amazing, Jovi. You did such a good job. Girl, you should... You should take some of these and do a digital, honey. Wow, look, guys. Isn't that going to be so pretty in a journal? Yes, 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 yes. I think you need to do... Um, I'm going to put these back here where these yumminess starts. I think you need to pick out some of these to do a digital with, Joey, because these are beautiful. Yay! So that just made my heart happy. These actually came in yesterday, but... Yep, I was tied up yesterday. I am uh, working... Of course, let's see, I'm filming today's Friday, so I was off yesterday and today, and as you all know, I thought I was going to have to do a seven-day stretch, but luckily, I did not have to. I was actually off yesterday, and I'm off today, but I do work uh, tomorrow and Sunday, so Saturday and Sunday, so my husband and I, let's see, guys, I'm going to need to get my binding kit out. Um, my husband and I actually went out to eat lunch yesterday to kind of celebrate Valentine's Day. Because at the time, we thought I was working like 12.30 to 8.30 on Sunday, which is pretty much your whole day. Um, but it was actually 8 to 4, but we had, you know, went ahead and went out and had lunch yesterday. Okay, guys. So, that's my Etsy shop share. You guys, please go on over and show Jovi some love at Creating with Jovi. Um, on YouTube and Etsy. Go over and subscribe to her channel. She is amazing. Alright guys, so you know we I have gotten some um, things and I have my let me get my words here hopeful journal here that I got from Wendy over at the Hopeful Bird. Um, so you guys know we have been working in this and I love it. I'm having such a good time. Just you know the glowing and the tearing and this that and the other is very soothing to me. So I have enjoyed that. So what I thought I would do was try my hand at making one. And I had this sheet of paper here that she had sent uh, as like a, a free thing in one of my orders. Oh, and by the way, guys, I went over and ordered two more journals and some more stuff. I just couldn't help myself. Oh, I can't wait for them to get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love your work, Wendy. So on this, I just took a tear ruler um, and tore... And this is just, uh, you know, the thinner regular paper. And so I thought I would see about making one. So I had some, 
I think they're 11 and a half by 14 sheets of paper. I'll show you a yellow one because I actually sat here with this and used the last of the regular white coffee dyed. This is a yellow one that I coffee dyed. Um, but I just used this size paper to show you how I did it. So this is what it looks like, guys. Okay, so that's going to be the inside and then this is going to be our cover. Um, so what I did was took the coffee dots. Uh, again, let's make sure the measurements. Yeah, that's, well, that's 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Uh, 8 and a half by 13 and a half. And I just took it and folded it this way up. Okay. And then I doubled it over this way. And did that. Okay. So that's what that looks like. So do it long ways, fold it up, and then double it back over. And then I simply took and tore it. Um, not really having to be careful with it. Well, may want to be more careful than that, Lori. Come on. Okay, so there it is. That's all I did. Um, and I did take various tear rulers. Okay, so I have this one. This all came in a set, and I know... Everyone's probably familiar with these. Uh, been around for quite a while. So I used some of these edges and some of just the tear edges. This one didn't like so much. Uh, probably user error, but I use those just to tear around the edges. So let's just do that on this one real quick. Um, just to give it that, you know, torn look. Or you could just take your fingers hands and just tear it um do it at the bottom as well i don't think i did it on the bottom on the other ones but that's okay um so there you go and you just do those and insert them inside each other would that look good in there nope i don't think so um so that's how i did that guys so what we are going to do today i'm gonna take a little sip Yes. So all these are just coffee dyed papers um, that I had done. And we're going to put them in here like this. This is going to be our cover. And then this is just going to wrap around like that. So that's what it's going to end up looking like, guys. So what we are going to do today, I do believe, is go ahead and bind this and I know Wendy used um, the twine and it looks like you know she just punched these size holes in these um, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I'm challenged and would uh, yeah probably muck it up so we're not even gonna go there we're just going to do the regular binding if you will sewing in the signatures whatever it is we call it I can get this uh, somewhat straight-ish because you all know that's how I roll and we're gonna do it just like we would anything else and just do our little binder clips there yeah I think that right there is gonna be good okay so let me get out more binder clips out of my handy dandy little bag here let's see I think I'm gonna go with the darker two three more clips guys three more clips come on clip clip and I will get out my one of these how about we use that one I think that'll be good all right get back in there and we need our I think it's called an all we will call it a pokey tool so I think that's all we need out of there for right now okay get this maybe over here I can't hold on to anything day before I stab myself with it all right so I think we got that there sorry if I keep going at a camera it's a little awkward and then we'll get this one 
here. And then we'll get this one here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to be good, guys. Okay, so I have my cradle from Amy over at Crafty Cat because I suck at this part. And this thing right here was an absolute dream come true. Um, her husband, I believe, actually makes them on a 3D printer. Uh, Amy does have them for sale in her shop at uh, Crafty Cat, Crafty Cat USA. Um, yep, so if I can remember, I will leave her and Wendy's link. Uh, below and Jovi says I showed her papers. So we just set that down in there Okay, so we got that down in there and we are going to do our holes So this I didn't measure it. We are just going to um, Pretty much wing it and I apologize if I get my Fat head in the um, camera shot Okay, so we winged out, right? Look at how perfect that is on the spine, guys. Every single time. And I'm just going to poke this through a little bit more on each hole. Just to get that a little bit bigger. So there's a little bit less resistance when we go through there. Okay, so now I think we're done with that. We'll slide that back in there. And we will get, and this is um, beeswax thread, I guess is what you call it. I have no clue, guys. And we are going to measure one, two, three. Cut that off. I know some people leave it attached, but I get all um, tangled up in it and turned around and everything else. So... You know, I may waste some, but hmm, it's okay. I'll just buy more. So if you want to be less wasteful than me, um, you can just leave it attached to here and cut it the length you need it once you're done with the binding. But again, I get all twisted around, so Lord knows I need extra help. So now we will, if I can, flatten this out. And see if we can get it threaded. Yep, not working. Let's see, did that do it? Ha, okay guys. All right, so. And when you're doing this, if you have any papers in it, guys, that um, have words or sayings or printouts or pictures or whatever, just make sure you don't have them upside down because you know I've did that before and had to cover it up. So we're just gonna go right through the first hole here in the middle and pull that through and we're going to leave us a little tail here and then we're going to go back up this is the only you know binding technique what have you that I do because um, yeah I'm challenged in this area as well so I could just see me messing that up and then we're going to go back through the middle hole but you want to make sure to go to the top of this thread and that you don't go through it because if you do you'll split it and then you will not be able to um, get it tight like you need it we're gonna go back up through that was easy my goodness it's gonna be a good day normally I struggle okay so we have that on there and then we're gonna bring this down guys and we're gonna go under this right here Hello, I said we were. Alright, and now I will go ahead and take the needle off. And now, we are just going to pull it tight. Not tight. Come on, Lori, what are you doing here? Okay. Alright, now let's see. Okay, that's better, but not really as tight as... Oh, maybe that did it. I know um, a while back, and you guys know I'm out of sorts. Um, 
Yeah, maybe that'll do it. Let's we'll see. Um, 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 yeah, I'm completely blank. I'll think of it in a minute, so forgive me. Yep, that's good and tight. So that worked. And then I just do a double knot. Alright, there we go. Now let's get these off. Get them put back in my bag. If not, I won't be able to find anything when I go to do this. There we go, guys. What about that? Pretty cute. They are lined up perfectly thanks to Amy at Crafty Cat's Cradle. I do advise those. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. That needs to stop curling up. So now we just have our coffee dyed papers and we could just leave it like this and journal in it but we're not going to do that we're going to decorate so I'm going to get this stuff put away so we're not going to decorate it today guys but that will be the plan for the future um, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to decorate it yet but we shall see There's that, so let's get this back down here. And then I will show you a couple of other things that I had pulled out. Um, and then we will call this a video. Um, I did go ahead and catch um, Ann Brooks next hashtag 52 tags handmade video it posted really early this morning so it's awesome that i'm off today so that video will post on monday but i will probably go ahead and film it today because she is doing was it hexagon uh very intrigued very simple i saw it at first and i was like oh lord hexagon um but it looks like it's going to be very simple so i think i will be able to handle that um so i am excited about that so that is what we have done today guys so i'm just going to sit her there in the little cradle um, so what I had did was looked around, y'all, because I have like shoebox things everywhere with tags and this, that, and the other in it, ephemera that I so need to use. This, I mean, I got to use this stuff up, guys. It's crazy. So in here, you know, the theme's been pretty much more neutral. Um, browns and this, that, and the other here, which I really like. Um, so what I had did was pulled out these beautiful pockets and different things that Claudia over at Timeless Crochet for You had made and sent me. And I thought they would look beautiful in there. And this is a journal I'm going to be keeping. And I was holding on to these items because, yeah, they're very special to me. And I wanted to... Uh, at least be able to use some of them in something that I was going to keep. See the little pockets here? These are super cute. Guys, and I tried to make, the, make these, and they turned out to be a complete disaster. I don't know how she does it. Look at all these little pockets. Isn't that awesome? Then you got one going the other way. So we have Courage, and we have Cherish. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, guys. Well, that's terrible. That's my phone ringing. Um, and knowledge. So, a lot of the sayings on here, peace, I thought would go really well. Uh, joy here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. How she. Oh, I just realized, guys. Look, it is a pocket. <gasps> Claudia, you're genius. Guys, look. I seriously just realized that. So, we have that pocket. And this says, You are my strength and kind so yeah these are going to go cherish wonderful in our hopeful journal there's another one that says peace and kind we have a little dash of pink there which i think is really cute and then this big not ginormous one is so pretty i hope it's gonna fit oh no guys it's not gonna fit um I'll figure out something. I don't want the butterfly going sideways. Anyway, we'll figure out something. This one's beautiful. I love that one. So I got those. So we are going to be incorporating these into our 
hopeful journal. Maybe not all of them, but maybe all of them. Who knows? Um, so these are amazing. Thank you, Claudia. I need to uh, actually get with you to see about making some more of these. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys. So in doing that, um, I'm still going with the theme with the more neutral colors and all that. Um, but I thought it may be time for just a little bit of color. Um, so I have these little snippet things that I had made. And I just thought these were really cute. So we, we've got Happiness Blooms from Within. And then here's another one that says Memories. And Adorable. And this is a faux stamp I had made. A little cluster there. And then we've got this little strip here could be a baby belly band do those exist and then this one it says life is so much better when you're laughing so i thought maybe in the next uh you know time or two working in this we may go ahead and incorporate just a little bit of color and then we just have this it was a hot mess on the back i guess i made a tiny pocket out of it did some stamping i have no idea what i did here guys oh okay i know what i did so i took a book page and i did the distressing and then I took, you know, the white paper that you take off of the napkins when you're going to do decoupaging. I decoupaged the white part only behind it and then just did some stamping. That's what I did. No, I'm sorry. This was not stamping. This was a roll of paper that I Mod Podged on there. And these stampings was actually on that paper. I believe it may have been by Tim Holtz, but I'm not positive. So that's what that is. But that kind of goes with the theme and the... The color more neutrals that we're going for right now so there's that all right guys so today we are going to call that a video thank you guys so much for your support of my channel it is still growing every day and i appreciate it uh welcome to all my new subbies i hope you guys enjoy my channel thank you to all of my uh subbies who have been with me since the beginning i appreciate you guys so much um you guys are amazing uh thank you all for your prayers and well wishes i do um Really appreciate your words of encouragement every day in your comments on my videos. Uh, you guys are amazing. So we will see you all next time. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.